Speaking of the early years, it's really interesting that in um, 2009, you had a blog post yeah. where you say, my modal expectation of when we get human level AI is 2025, expected value is 2028. And this is before deep learning. This is when nobody's talking about AI. And it turns out like if you, if the trends continue, this, this is not an unreasonable prediction. Before all these trends came into effect, how did you have that accurate an estimate? Well, first I'd say it's not before deep learning. Uh. Um, deep learning was, getting started around 2008. Oh, sorry, I meant to say before ImageNet. Before ImageNet, that was 2012, yeah. yeah. Um, so, well, I first formed those beliefs in about 2001 after reading Ray Kurzweil's The Age of Spiritual Machines. Mm -hmm. And I I came to the conclusion he was, he was there was two really important points that in, in, in his book that I, I came to believe is true. One is that I, uh, computational power would grow exponentially for at least a few decades and that the quantity of data in the world would grow exponentially for a few decades. And when you have exponentially increasing quantities of computation and data, then the value of highly scalable algorithms gets higher and higher. So then there's a lot of incentive to make a more scalable algorithm to harness all this computed data. And so I thought it would be very likely that we'll start to discover scalable algorithms to do this. And then there's a positive feedback between all these things, because if your algorithm gets better at harnessing computer data, then the value of the data in the compute goes up because it can be more effectively used. And so that drives more investment into these areas. If your compute performance goes up, then the value of the data goes up because you can utilize more data. So there are positive feedback loops between all these things. So that was, that was the first thing. And then the second thing was just looking at the trends. If these scalable algorithms were, were to be discovered, then during the 2020s, it should be possible to start training models on significantly more data than a human would experience in a lifetime. And I figured that that would be a time where, where big things would start to happen and that would eventually unlock AGI. So that was that was my reasoning process. And I think we're now at that first part. I think we can start training models now where the scale of the data is beyond what a human can experience in a lifetime. So I think this is the first unlocking step. And so, yeah, I think there's a 50% chance that I'm uh, something like 2028. Now, it's just a 50% chance. I mean, I'm, I'm sure what's going to happen is going to get to you know, 2029 and someone's going to say, oh, Shane, you were wrong. It's like, come on, it's 50% chance. <laughs> so, yeah, I, 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 I think it's... It's entirely plausible. Yeah, it's 50% chance it could happen by 2028. Um, mm. But I'm not going to be surprised if it doesn't happen by then. Maybe, maybe you know, the, you often hit um, unexpected problems in, in research and science. Sometimes things take longer than you expect.